Jacksonville City Councilman Terrence Freeman is not only calling a proposed anti-hate bill insulting, but says it will only further divide the city. Councilman Jimmy Peluso proposed the ordinance that would make changes to the city's ordinance code to enhance penalties for hate crimes. But Freeman says there's already state and local law addressing this and calls the new bill disingenuous. For someone who's never walked a day in their shoes in the life that I've lived is trying to call out an issue and here I am as a man that has lived this life, that has said this issue's been addressed based off of state law here and local law. I get offended as a black man. The ordinance is in response to an August shooting that took place at a Dollar General in Jacksonville. That devastating shooting was allegedly racially motivated and the suspect killed three people followed by taking his own life. And we're using a legislative process to virtue signal as if it's gonna magically make hate go away. No. That's just not going to be a path that I'm willing to go down. We're going to keep tackling the real issues in our city um, that I think will lead to ending hatred, which is helping everyone try to have a better quality of life. Freeman pointed to Jacksonville's history and horrific examples of prejudice against black people. He shared those examples to highlight the progress the city has made since then with many African-American leaders throughout the city today. So to write a bill as if, you know, blacks in our city are just being so oppressed and hated on gives this false narrative that, that I'm just tired of, 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 of coming from the left. It's not that, it's not that at all. So we're covered at the state level, we've been covered here, and proof is in the pudding. The councilman said the bill would also strain police officers, making them decide what is or is not hate speech. He also pointed to the potential repercussions to the First Amendment in which the city could likely face litigation from. If you're an officer and, and you're called in on, on, a, on a call for this, um, you're spending time now filling out this report and you're trying to figure out, is this speech hate speech or not? During Peluso's announcement earlier this month where he unveiled his bill, he said it is aimed at improving public safety and sending a message that hate has no home in the city. This bill expands several of our existing laws to include hate crime legislation or language, just as we've seen in other cities and throughout this country over the past several decades. It's now time to bring this language to Duval County. Freeman says tackling issues to improve quality of life in the city, like fixing roads, schools, and ensuring the sheriff's office has what they need to keep the community safe is what the people need, not politicians making a good headline. I don't know what his political ambitions are, but he's playing the same playbook that Biden, you name all of the folks that continue to try to rise up their progressive leaning ranks. They always do this virtue signal and mm -hmm. he's using this playbook. I yeah. called him out on it. Freeman is hoping the city withdraws Palooza's ordinance. We will continue to follow this as it works its way through the legislative process. I'm Michelle Bessarina reporting for Florida's Voice. Check out our website at flvoicenews.com for more.